Hawkeye fans, you may notice that I am not Laura Vandenberg. My name is Riley Miller and I'm a former field hockey athlete. Uh, I'll be filling in today, so I know I have some big shoes to fill, so bear with me. <laughs> I'd like to start by thanking our fans for watching and their continued support of the Hawkeyes. We're normally traveling the state right now, but we're excited to continue this tradition virtually. Today we'll be doing a Q&A with the Bear Brothers. I'm sure these brothers need no introductions. Welcome back, Nicholas and Michael. For those of you that may not know though, Nicholas is a former Iowa men's basketball player from 2014 to 19, and Michael is now a senior for the Hawkeyes. I know I can speak on behalf of all fans when I say that we have loved watching you both grow and thrive during your time at Iowa. And we can't wait to catch up with you. So are you guys ready to get this started? Let's do it. All right, so first question. Maybe you can just tell us a bit about what you've been doing in quarantine. Were you together? If so, what was it like being back under the same roof? Any childhood flashbacks? Yeah, so we were we were all home uh, about middle of March. So I had a chance to spend you know, obviously a lot of time together. Um, one couple of fun things is we both had birthdays during that time. So both had a chance to, um, you know, enjoy some birthdays during that. And yeah, Michael just, I think he just, left about a week ago to start back with workouts. So um, from March until then, we were all, all together and enjoyed our time together, but also, you know, I'm excited for my league to start with his workouts. Yeah. Yeah, and from a workout standpoint, like Nicholas said, <clears throat> I think during that quarantine period, everyone's on their own. And the thing that's nice about that is Nicholas and I were together. So we were able to work out with each other. So that was a big advantage. We were able to push each other that other people wouldn't have had that same opportunity. So that was really nice during this time. I'm sure. So did you guys pick up any new hobbies? Any uh, Harry Potter marathons going on? I hear you guys are quite the fans. Yeah, no, I'm, I, I mean, we watch a few Harry Potter movies. I mean, you can't, you can't not, you know, yeah. quarantine or not, you're going to watch a few. So, um, but so that was good. Uh, but some hobbies I've, I just kind of expanded some of my cooking a little bit. I got into that. Um, you know, if I was going to be stuck somewhere, might as well you know, learn a new skill. So right, yeah. that's something that I focused on, um, which turned out being kind of fun, you know, learning a few new, new dishes and everything. Yeah. yeah, I've been a prime beneficiary of Nicholas's new cooking. <laughs> um, he's been, he's been making, di he was making dinner. So uh, he had some chicken parm, he had some new dishes. So that was nice. Ooh, wow. uh, yeah. Nice. As far as uh, hobbies for me, I, I picked up a lot more reading. I wanted to start reading like 10 to 15 minutes every day. Uh, and this is the first summer in a few years that I haven't had summer classes, so I thought I should continue my education in some way. So I've been reading, that's going well, and uh, maybe I'll uh, pick up the Harry Potter books here at some point. <laughs> awesome. So Nicholas, I'm sure Hawkeye Nation would love to hear what you're up to now and maybe your plans for the future. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so this past year I had a chance to play with Raptors 905 up in Toronto with the uh, they're the Raptors G League affiliate, so I had a chance to play with them for a year, and I really enjoyed my experience up there. Um, thought it was a good start to my professional career. Uh, you get a chance to play in that league and play at that high level, so I really enjoyed that. I made you know, some great relationships there, and you know, moving forward, I'm, you know, barring anything, everything that's going on with coronavirus, I'm optimistic to play overseas next year. Um, you know, assuming that league start up, and um, in the meantime, I'll just be working out here in Bettendorf and. Uh, you know, just waiting for you know opportunity to come along. So, um, still so optimistic to have another chance to play basketball professionally next season. Awesome, I love to hear that, mm -hmm. Michael. What's it like being back on campus and training with the team? Is there anything you're most looking forward to being back in Iowa City for the summer? Yeah, it's it's so exciting to obviously obviously be back in Iowa City. I think the most exciting thing is just being back around my teammates. You know, uh, during the season, you have those six months that you see everyone every day and you're around each other. And then it kind of abruptly ended there at the Big Ten tournament when the season just kind of ended. And then I didn't see anybody for three months. And then just coming back last week, it was just great to be around everybody. We're all enjoying each other's company. And then we brought on five freshmen this year. So they're all getting acclimated and we're meeting all of them and uh, getting used to that. So I think just being around everybody has been very exciting and I'm loving it so far. For sure. Nicholas, on the flip side, you've been away from Iowa City for just about a year now. Um, yeah. Is there anything in particular that you miss the most? Are you jealous that Michael gets to stick uh, around? Man, I mean, I, yeah, obviously, like, you know, you have a chance to be on the team, but I mean, you talk 
Monica's, Bluebird, Shorts, Stella's. I mean, just go I had to be and food. Dandelion, just right on down the line. But um, so, I mean, I think I, what I miss about obviously is just like the energy and, you know, obviously some of the restaurants. But um, I mean, definitely like miss my time in Iowa and, you know, you know, hopefully like once all this calms down, maybe a chance to go back there and, you know, work out if things allow that too. But um, yeah, definitely miss Iowa City. For sure. Michael, you've once again been named to the academic Big Ten and the Dean's List. How do you balance athletics and academics? Is this something you might have learned from Nicholas during his time? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think Nicholas <laughs> himself is a four-time uh, Big Ten academic uh, uh, honoree, so congrats to him. Give him some credit. But uh, I think it, uh, it all comes back to time management. And when I really think about it, that really started in high school. You know, in high school, you had school from eight to three and then you had practice you don't get home till six six thirty whereas in college there might be days you have one or two classes or no classes at all so being able to uh, pick and choose when I'm gonna be able to study and stuff like that has been good so just take taking uh keeping track of the time when I'm gonna get some work done has been really helpful and then we have so many resources at our disposal you know the journey and athletic center our academic advisors really help us out so um, definitely academics is something I pride myself on, but there's so many people that uh, help me uh, attain these goals. Absolutely. That's awesome. So I know the black and gold is in your blood. Maybe you can tell us a bit about your family connections to Iowa with your mom being an Iowa grad and several of your cousins being student athletes as well. Yeah. So, I mean, my mom graduated from Iowa. We've had you know, aunts and uncles go through Iowa as well. And I think just like for me, it's, you know, all I remember is, you know, growing up an Iowa Hawkeye fan, going to you know, Iowa Hawkeye tailgates and just always being associated with University of Iowa. And um, it was really, you know, special to have my cousin Molly Kelly and cousin Joe Kelly wrestle and Molly play volleyball. You know, that was pretty special um, to, you know, keep it in the family. So that was always fun. And um, I think we just always had, you know, a strong tradition of supporting University of Iowa. Did you ever get a chance to watch Molly or Joe play? Yeah, so I watched Molly quite a bit. I didn't get a chance to watch Joe, uh, but I watched Molly quite a bit. Um, and her illustrious career so that was always just fun because like you know you know, just have more opportunity to see family too um you know always come down for her games and you know they'd come to our games and everything like that so it's really special i think it should be noted our cousin molly is the all-time digs leader in iowa volleyball history yes. so i okay. need, need that to be noted yeah, molly yes Kelly. in the bloodlines <laughs> <laughs> all right so we'll move into what is your favorite memory playing together this can be all time or at Iowa, either one. Mm. Oh. I I mean, one. Yeah, I would say a couple that come to mind would probably be like my senior day. I uh, get a chance to like, you know, come off and have Michael sub on for me. Um, that was, you know, That's just kind of a special moment for that. And then I think also just um, I remember after the Cincinnati game and NCAA tournament uh, celebrating there and just being happy that we're moving on in the next round. and um having a chance to like you know enjoy that moment because that's you know something that we always look forward to is you know having a chance to play in, a, in the NCAA tournament yeah. yeah I think the thing that goes along with those memories is it's not just between Nicholas and me it's also between our, our whole family and especially those NCAA tournament wins and his senior day it meant a lot for our parents and for our sisters and our whole family so that was very cool something more personal for a memory uh actually comes from practice so it was my first week or two on the team, and we we're in practice. And Nicholas and I ended up on the same team, uh, going up five and five, uh, five on five. And I kind of made made a cut. And there's a certain type type of chemistry you have with your teammates. But Nicholas and I hadn't played together much, but we were brothers, so we had a little bit of like telepathy there. So he knew I was making a cut before I actually did it. He passed to me, and I scored. And I remember kind of running back down court and thinking, "Wow, like that was pretty cool. That's never happened before." that we've done that. So that's probably one of my favorite memories I have just between the two of us. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna move on to a little lightning round of questions. Uh, just so the fans can get to know you guys a little bit better. Are you ready? Let's do it. Yep. If you could describe each other in three words, what would they be? Mm, I'll go first. Um, discipline, intelligent, mm. Humorous, maybe a sense of humor. All right. Um, I'm going to go. Say thank you. Just all right. Yes. Yeah, that's pretty God. nice. Of him. Jeez, man. <laughs> was, I'm sorry. I was thinking so much about what I'm going to say about you. <laughs> I didn't have time to appreciate it. Um, but thank you. 
Uh, I think I'm going to go with caring, uh, confident. Uh, and I'll keep it with the C's. I'm going to go charismatic. Hey, yeah, so, okay. so three C's. Oh, yeah. Look at this guy. Nice. That's pretty nice coming from siblings. I don't know what my sister would have said about me. <laughs> All right, moving on. Which brother is the messiest? Probably Mike. It's me. That's me. Michael, proudly. I'll take, crazy I'll take that one. Not by much, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Michael, you have to answer this about Nicholas and see if you can get it right. What is his favorite food? His favorite food, um, well, his favorite co food to make is chicken parm. I know that. But if someone else is making it, he is going to go to Pita Pit and get a buffalo <laughs> chicken pita uh, by our girl Monica. Oh, uh, my God. So beautiful. dearly loved. Throw that on there. Yeah. That's, that's, an, that's an accurate answer. Yep. All right. Pretty good. That one. Nicholas, what is Michael's favorite TV show? Oh, the office. That's, that's easy, easy question. question. That's easy. easy question. Yeah. Uh, I knew it was too <laughs> easy. Too easy. Too yeah. Easy. <laughs> Who is the better cook? We probably answered this earlier. Now. Yeah. yeah. Nicholas. There's there's time. There's time for me though. Yeah. No, for sure. It's over. Always room for growth. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I think that's all I have for you two. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we can't wait to watch you both back on the court soon. Go Hawks. Yeah, thanks for having us. Go Hawks. Thanks, thanks for having us. Go Hawks. Bye, guys. Bye. Now we're going to take a brief intermission before moving on to our next sibling feature. I'd like to give a brief reminder that members of the iClub directly support all 24 Hawkeye sports. Their contributions help to provide scholarships, travel, nutrition, equipment, and academic and medical expenses for more than 650 Hawkeye student athletes. To learn more about how you can make an impact as an iClub member, visit jointheiclub.com. Hey, Hawkeye fans, we're moving on to our next sibling feature. Next up is a QA with the Burns sisters. Welcome back, Corey, Devin, and Riley. For those of you that may not know the Burns sisters, these three have been a part of the Iowa soccer program for about the last seven years. Um, Corey saw action from 2013 to 2017. Devin from 2016 to 2019, and now Riley will return for her junior year for the Hawkeyes. Um, I'm sure that Hawkeye Nation can't wait to hear what you've been up to. Are you guys ready to get started? Let's yeah. do it. <laughs> All right, cool. So, of course, we got to start with the first question. Tell us a bit about what you've been doing in quarantine. Uh, did you get time to spend uh, with the whole family back under the same roof or no? Um, a little bit. Just, I mean, not... I don't know. I don't really think we spent that much time together, to be honest. Yeah, like a week or so. Yeah, yeah, and, then, and then they went back to Iowa City, and I actually moved to Kansas City. So really wasn't much time together, but it was fun while it lasted. Time a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys did a little vacation down in Florida, didn't you, for a bit? Oh, yeah. We yeah. drove down for, like, a week. Yeah. Yeah. That was, yeah. Like, right, yeah. But it was fun. We haven't really seen each other since then, though. It's been a while yeah, since we've seen Corey. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, did you pick up any new hobbies with your free time? Riley um, did. Um, I did. <laughs> I bought a guitar off of Amazon. <laughs> um, I'm not very good, but I've been working at it. My dad plays guitar, so he's been trying to teach me since I got it. So, that's what I picked up. <laughs> Yeah. Devin, any rollerblading? <laughs> <laughs> Not after my accident, no. <laughs> but, um, I, yeah, a little rollerblading. Um, I had a little fall and haven't been on them since then, but I've been drawing a lot. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. Okay, so Corey, I know you got the opportunity to play soccer abroad last year. Mm -hmm. um, what was that like to be able to continue your career after college? And then what are your plans for the future? Uh, it was so awesome to play overseas. I would say that's probably one of the best experiences I've ever had. Um, the I went and played for FC Norseland in Farum, Denmark, which is like 30 minutes outside of Copenhagen, and it was awesome. Best experience ever. Um, I would definitely recommend it for any soccer player who wants to continue playing or, I don't know, professional sports, you know, for professional for other sports, but definitely recommend it. Um, it was so much fun and I had a great time. It was a good little like 
end to soccer because I was able to travel Europe too for my first time. So I was able to do all that. And um, yeah, I'm uh, for the future, probably. I mean, I, I have not played soccer in a while. I hate to admit that, but it's been, it's been a little bit. Um, and as I am looking for teaching jobs right now in Kansas city. And so right now it's just kind of focusing on my next step in my career. And then with that, I'll, I'll probably do like uh, extracurricular or like inner squad soccer or something like that. But um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much that's it. Awesome. That's great to hear. So Devin, you are a recent graduate. What are you up to now? Um, right now, I still actually have plans to maybe go to Ireland and play a little soccer there. Um, and, but I don't know if it's still going to happen. It's still kind of up in the air. But right now, um, I'm applying to nursing schools, and I'll be going there next year or within a month or so. So still, still trying to figure that out. <laughs> I don't really know yet. But. She's been hanging out with me for the time yeah. being. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That's good to hear. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Uh, Riley, so you're not back on campus yet, but you will be soon. Yes. What's it going to be like training with the team? Sorry, what did you say? What's it going to be like training with the team? Oh, um, so it's a little bit different, obviously, uh, this coming summer and season. Um, but just, you know, kind of have to do all the protocols and stuff. Um, but hopefully it's still the same. I mean, still a bunch of the girls. Okay, there. Um, so a bunch of girls are coming back. You know, I'm just excited to be back and see everyone, um, you know, play soccer again with all of them. It's been so long, which is kind of bad. But um, I'm just excited, you know, to see everybody, see the coaches, get back on campus, kind of get back into the swing of things. So, yeah. For sure. I, I hear everyone's pretty excited to be back. It's going to look different, but it'll be good to be back for sure. Yeah. So Iowa Soccer just announced the new soccer operations facility that will be coming fall 2021. Riley, are you excited to have access to the new facility just in time for senior year? And on the flip side, Devin and Corey, how jealous are you guys that Riley gets to uh, play with the new facility? Well, I'm really excited. Um, it's just going to be super good for us. I mean, for all the steps that this program's taken in the last like five, 10 years, we've come so far and like all the hard work we've put in even this past season, um, it's the perfect time to do it. And I'm so excited for it, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm very jealous. Yeah, <laughs> and well, they keep adding on, you know, ever since even like Corey left, we've been getting more and more every year. So it's, I kind of figured something big would happen soon. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah, they, I think they've been talking about it for a while. They've been talking about, like, something for a while. So, like, I, I was like, I know this is not going to be here in my time, but I'm like, I hope it's there by the time Riley finishes, at least. So I'm, yeah. I'm excited for, like, her to experience that and, you know, them to finally get it. But I, I am very jealous. But like Riley said, it's so good for the program. It'll, be, it'll really do, like, wonders to – because we already have one of the best fields in the Big Ten, in my opinion. And so – with the operations facility now at the field, you know, right there, ready to go. That's just going to make it like so much harder to compete with the other um, stadiums in the big 10. So it'll be so good for them, but I am upset that I can't use it myself. <laughs> sure. I'm, I'm so excited to see how it turns out myself too. Uh, so, yeah. So moving on, was there ever a time you all got to play on the same team together or was this, was Devin the only one that you guys all ever had overlap with? Yeah, I think it was yeah. just me yeah. that got it. Just Steph uh, that got it. Was one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was always a burn sister. I, so. <laughs> yeah. um, what's your favorite memory playing together? Um, for Devin and I, I think we can both agree that it was our my senior year, her freshman year of high school, um, at Loyola Academy, we played against um, our rival, Nutrier, in, like, what was it, the sectional finals or something like that, Dev? And we, Devin, I assisted to Devin, and she scored the winning goal. So it's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's like, awesome. awesome. <laughs> that is a pretty good story, yeah. yeah. Um, for us, yeah. I think it's probably this past season when we made NCAA tournament. That was, like, very cool. Yeah. Just to get to experience awesome. it together. That was awesome. For sure. So 
just like the Bear Brothers, which we interviewed before you guys, the black and gold is kind of in your blood. So tell us a little bit about your family ties to Iowa with your dad, several uncle, uncles, cousins, and of course your brother Johnny also, also going to Iowa. Yeah, we kind of have a huge crowd all the time yeah. with that coming up. <laughs> uh, yeah. Our parents are able to make every game, and our brother came to like the majority of them. Most of them. Yeah. And then we'd have some cousins flying in too because they'd always want to come visit and have some cousins weekends. So, you know, Iowa's just been like a really big part of our family. And um, that's, I mean, that's, I think what, it was definitely what drew me, I'm sure it's what drew all of us, just like the family atmosphere that we have there with our dad and a bunch of our uncles, all of our cousins, like so many people there, just like every family gathering. It's, oh, how the Hawkeye's doing? You know, it's just mm -hmm. such an awesome thing to have in the family. Mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. I've heard the Burns throw the best Hawkeye soccer tailgates, that's for sure. Um, what do you guys think about that? Is that true? Or what's it like having such a strong support system? I know you already kind of touched on that. And Devin and Corey, are you going to carry that on um, sure. next year for Riley? Oh, yeah. That's – I would definitely say we have – our family and like I mean this is the soccer parents in general throw great tailgates before games and uh I think back to like the family um aspect like our brother Johnny and then our cousin Jack who was kind of around our same time he's a year older than Devin um they like got so many of their friends to come to our games and just like have a huge cheer section for us so it was like they kind of made like the tailgate and like the game atmosphere so much better for us and uh yeah I would definitely Devin and I are planning on, I mean, you know, with the situation right now, I mean, hopefully everything, you know, we can do that in the fall, but planning on still throwing the best tailgates in the Big Ten. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Chicago's not too far of a drive from your parents, and then Kansas City's not too bad either, so yeah. hopefully you'll be able to get back. Yeah. Iowa City's like the perfect meeting point for us, so. Yeah. That works out really well. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to move into a little bit of lightning round and feel free just to answer all at the same time or whatever feels most comfortable. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you got to pick the most, the most, the person who embodies the question most. Okay. Um, so who is the most competitive? Corey. Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Unanimous oh, yeah. Corey. Who is the loudest? Corey. <laughs> Me? Yeah. I don't know. Well, well, like, I think of loud as, like, the most intimidating. Yeah. Like, I mean, I guess we're all, I don't know. I don't know. We're all kind of loud. I mean, we like to laugh. I guess, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, are, you guys are pretty old. All pretty loud, so. Yeah. Pretty loud. We're going to take that as, like, a talk. Not as loud as you, Riley Miller. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Who is the most likely to steal the other's clothes? Devin. Devin, probably. I will share, we share clothes. clothes. Yeah. I guess Corey doesn't. Corey doesn't. Yeah, Corey doesn't steal our clothes. Corey also doesn't live with you guys anymore. Right. That's true. <laughs> that might be part of that. <laughs> um, aside from soccer, what is one thing you all have in common? Uh, just like oh. sports. So we just kind of always did what Corey did. So yeah. like, I guess anything Corey does, us. we we do. Yeah. <laughs> like we all swam and did some gymnastics and basketball and other than sports we're pretty different though I don't know <laughs> I mean we like to eat is that yeah we like yep. to eat a lot that, that works true. I'll go with that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who is the best dancer <laughs> not Devin oh, so good no, no. <laughs> I was gonna say Devin for sure <laughs> yeah, that's I would say I would say out of our family is our dad by far yeah okay. Okay. None of us, though. None of us. We're probably, <laughs> we take after our mom. We are not good dancers. So. Yeah, that's so true. Especially what about Johnny? Is he a good dancer? Can Johnny take this yeah, one? Johnny, Johnny can dance. He's a little more my dad than my mom. Yeah. All right, we'll we'll Johnny. Yeah, I know. I wish we got those jeans, but. <laughs> <laughs> Who takes the longest to get ready? Riley. Definitely me. <laughs> Definitely. Unanimous Riley. Okay. Which one of you was the biggest troublemaker as a kid? Devin. Devin. Uh, Devin. Devin. <laughs> I like to keep things interesting. Okay? She likes That's to the girl's biggest troublemaker, troublemaker probably. Yeah. <laughs> if you had to pick one sibling to tell a secret, who would you choose? Riley. 
Yeah, I, I guess. Know. I don't. I, I feel feel like like I'd tell, tell anyone. Yeah, I feel like that's. Oh, yeah, I'd tell everyone. Okay, now I feel bad for saying Riley, but. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Devin's like really low key hurt. She's like, like oh, she's low key. Like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep her secret. I don't <laughs> Who is the best driver or the worst? Actually, how about let's do the worst. Worst is Devin. It's the worst. Yeah, I'm not that good. Best. Corey's probably the best. You yeah. know, she's the oldest. She has to be the best. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that doesn't surprise me. Everything. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, last up in the lightning round, what is your favorite song to sing in the car? Ooh. Uh, <laughs> with just us three, because it's a different story if my dad's in the car. <laughs> um, Either one. If oh. our dad's in the car, probably "Magic Bus" by the Who. I think the Who or the Beatles. Yeah, he mm-hmm. loves the Who. With us, um, just like Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande, I don't know. <laughs> that is, yep. I would say I would say the easiest songs to like sing to in the car, are, like the oldies, you know, like yeah. old Britney Spears, like and sing Backstreet Boys, like that stuff. That's the easiest to like sing to and like jam out in the car. Yeah, you can't go wrong with throwbacks. Like everybody knows them. Everybody you can't go wrong with them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, and I have just one final question for you guys. Um, maybe you can tell us one thing you would like to say to Hawkeye fans. Um, just thanks so much for all the support. We love you guys coming out. Really made the atmosphere and everything um, amazing. Love playing for you guys. Yeah, it's definitely. Yep. Support all teams, that's for sure. Definitely go to all sports because we are all awesome. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, Hawkeye fans are the best fans, so Bye, that's Bob. what I would say. <laughs> Well, I think that's all I have for you three. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks, Riley. It's fun, Riley. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.